Hello everyone, I actually like Moon Knight quite a bit. I didn't watch the show because it didn't really interest me all that much, I will be honest. But I did see some interesting scenes from it. But yeah, Moon Knight is actually pretty cool to me. He apparently has a split personality and also serves the god of the moon, the Egyptian moon, Khonshu. Which, uh, that's a whole nother thing. But yeah, I probably should try him out in Marvel Rivals. If I can. But anyway, are you ready, Chrono? Yeah. Let's see how he, he does. He had an exclusive trial of the new hero Moon Knight in Marvel Rivals. Yeah, he's he moves like you expect. He's very good at causing area damage. His string attack methods... He, he kind of acts like Batman, honestly. ...unleash deadly dance huh. of ricocheting darts. While his unk's unique gathering effect amplifies the damage dealt to cluster yep. foes. I have my own superhero that I will be releasing a comic of eventually. Once His high mobility people... is oh. also very consistent. Yeah, you can how we see him literally see him move. He's good at looking down on the battlefield from a high position. I do love how they designed this. Positions. I do love how they designed his suit for this game, though. Moon Knight is a lesser known Marvel hero, but he's not like the least known. Knows how his attacks are ricocheting? Thanks, no, I did not actually. Very important keywords in Moon yeah, his Moona Ring Over things are very special attack methods and ricocheting, attack range, including the normal attack. Yeah, I see it right there now. And the right now spun Moon Blade, which can bounce moon between blade. nearby enemies and cause damage. That can be lines. annoying for people having it bounce between them. Also, they probably should have so given more range to the Hulk. It would be a very unwise choice to maintain a dance formation. Oh. When the E key ability Ancient Ankh is activated, Ancient an Ankh kind of reminds me of Valorant. Inserted into the ground Maybe, the but there's Gentile only a few gun characters here. A certain wrench towards yeah. the Ankh. Just the, the way the characters look. Only causes really? Very little damage, a very yeah, maybe. The feature is that the player only needs to shoot at the Ankh's position. Then the dart will automatically ricochet to attack enemies within the Ankh's range. Ah. Using the same damage as a direct hit with a normal attack. So he can literally hold people down and other, use a super. That's, um, one deadly. One duos don't truly capture the true might of the Moon Knight. When he wields his E key ability, which boosts long range pulling and bounce effects, it simplifies unleashing area damage and oh. makes it a breeze to target foes lurking behind cover, tucked in cool. building corners or protected by shields. Yeah, Moonlight seems like he can be deadly if you're not paying attention to him. Keep in mm. mind, yeah. both Ankh and his and yeah, there's Venom. projectiles have travel time. Necess Honestly, I just love the design of their doing here, though he does look a little bit like, um, uh, the Phantasm from Batman, that one movie, right here with the design they're going with, but, uh, we'll not go over that. <laughs> Funny enough, Chrono, Batman is, er, uh, Batman. Moon Knight is one of the few characters that uh, Taskmaster won't steal the skills of. You know why? Why? Because he's completely insane. Oh shit. He's, re he's really, really willing to ram a plane into a building to kill his target. Huh. He look yeah, he looks a bit like Taskmaster here. Players to anticipate enemies Usually his face is just covered in shadow with like two glowing eyes. Situational awareness. While Moon Knight's two modes of attack might seem like harmless little dart, with the right execution, Moon Knight possesses devastating area damage potential. Yeah, Moon Knight is insane. Yeah. Moon There's Knight's only like one video, other video game where Moon Knight is in, and that's a Spider-Man game. Three common abilities. First up. The versatile rising leap double jump adds height and grace to his leaps, making it a staple move in his arsenal. But that's just the, the only thing is with that game, uh, it's Spider-Man Web of Shadows. The reason no one picks Moon Knight to be their ally usually is because the other choice is Cat is Black Cat. So um, huh. yeah. With Moonlight, who Don't get me Moonlight uh, wrong, Moon Knight is cool, but, uh... Navigate the Tarion, ...effortlessly reaching high vantage points or avoiding enemy oh. attack in the blink of an eye. And when he takes to the skies, Night Glider becomes his ace in the hole. By holding ah. the left shift key, Moon Knight unfurls his cloak, 
Slowing There's double jumps and slow climb. motion this calling here. Ah, nice. Tactical overview of the battlefield, but also allows him to pinpoint the precise moment and location to unleash his arm. His ultimate ability, Hand of Hongshu, is a simple ah. and brutal AOE ability. That's what I thought it was, yeah. Moon Knight will raise Ankh, and a circular range indicator will appear in the front of the character. Yeah. At this time, pressing the attack the wrath of Konchu. fly out from the rift, calling down the Hand of Hongshu. The Egyptian god of the moon. The, effective range. the duration is not long, but the power is amazing. It continues hmm. the character's characteristics of being a master of causing area damage, and the effect is further improved with the gathering function of the E ability. He is cool. Oh, uh. The moon haunts you. No one. No one tell Fable we, that line was spoken. No one. We don't hmm. need him to shout about the moon being haunted again. Minding the high ground is crucial for Moon Knight. His perspective oh. from above acting as a tactical advantage to orchestrate the flow of battle. With his agile kit, he can swiftly descend upon the enemy and place an Ankh or retreat to reassess the fray. Oh. Who wants a piece of Capitalizing me now? Capitalizing on his normal and right click My attacks sound alert. bounce feature can devastate closely knit foes. At least the power. His key ability leaves no corner, whether behind Doctor Strange's shield or within the recess of the building. Mm. Safe from be a really good support Unleashing killer. The Looks hand like of it. Kongshu feels like embodying the very essence of Nightfall. Mm. A shadow Dear God, the Jeff is so big. Doom for those caught in his moonlit grasp. He sure is. I figured he'd be smaller. Is both well, he's bigger here. He's usually much smaller everywhere else. As a dark oh. of I guess if they made him his actual size, he'd be a lot harder to hit. In November, so stay tuned. Makes sense. In November, huh? We'll see how that goes. They're adding Psylocke. Psylocke is um, a character I know very little about. She's one of the lesser known X-Men. She's not nearly as well known as like, you know, Wolverine or Professor X or really any of them. I Psylocke is like the last person I would think would be joining the roster. Huh. Anyway. Thank you all so much. So it looks really cool in this game. Well, we'll see about that another time. Anyway, thank you all so much. And we'll see you guys later. Any last words, Chrono? Uh. Uh. Jump up and down like a crazy person. There. Probably don't do that. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Do all those things because it helps us get bigger in the algorithm. And if I can... Guess what? If if we get bigger there, we can do this stuff more often for you guys. Because I don't have to worry about my job then, and we'll get pulled away at any possible moment. Anyway, there guys, have fun.